TV. Today is the 29th of April uh, 2023. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. So guys, here's the latest news. Interesting. The Citizens Coalition for Change, Triple C, said it will not share the names of members uh, who were nominated during the ongoing consensus candidate selection process to protect them from victimization by some PF, especially in rural areas. Triple C Deputy Spokesperson Gipti Ziba told journalists on Thursday that after the party's nomination process, a vetting process was conducted which will be followed by manifesto presentations. He said the presentations are set for this Saturday and Sunday with a Triple C finalist list of council and parliament candidates set to be announced soon. Ziba said we are dealing with a brutality Colliers in different regime that is in panic and one of its manner of manipulation is the harvest of fear the use of fear against those who differ with the state or present Emerson Nangagwa's administration it is without doubt that citizens have subscribed to the citizens movement and ready to represent the party from various angles however one of the challenges we have faced during this process is the harvest of, of fear particularly in the countryside is because of that strategic necessity that we have not publicly released the names of those that have been nominated in the countryside because the NPF has deployed violence as a tool to try to influence our people to withdraw from nominations and the process. Remember the election has not been declared and the nomination court has not been set. We have agreed to protect our people. You know in Zaka one of our candidates was abducted and tortured. Elections in Zimbabwe in the past two decades have been characterized by political motivated violence. Opposition party members and supporters have been targeted by ruling NPF supporters and security forces. This has led to concern about the fairness and transparency of elections in the country. So guys, that's the latest here. Triple C want to review names of nominees in rural areas because of Naya intimidation through uh and I'm not going to say I'm 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 going but as for now, they won't be reviewing any names in the rural areas because intimidation So they want to try by all means to protect uh, their candidate nominees. And so we're we'll gonna be keeping you guys in the loop here. Remember what Pani Runero Cooper I tended as a carry uh Mama Street Jinza Zoni, could a jumbo, a panama no sumuka, could you uh triple C because uh, and uh, which means we ever leaked uh, that memo. I is as I tower and a college room of the Panama Tocha to Tibamir Sakan with Triple C. The reason why is because Barucha could separate and uh, from the uh, communities. Nuko Zagoti, Naranda, Magas Gonzi, the Mimi, the Musa Pota Party, Cheti, I uh, told my one chair, but Masapata is a party and Garipo, but with Pato Share, one and Tsunga Mira, the Panaki Pagunes, the Saka. It's one of those uh, moments whereby uh, they have to approach this whole situation uh, with a different angle because uh, Master Gabonitswa, I wish I could tell you, and now no one's going to chicken zero chicken zero. No one's going to tell me once I'm about to die. It's so good to meet the party as it is. I'm going to get to my terrace and the saga. We're going to be keeping you guys in the loop here. And remember, this is one of the most I would say uh, crucial, crucial uh, areas. Yeah, triple C, my rural areas because the Goku never votes AC, the Guru Nia, yes, it's gonna be a very difficult um, moment for them to uh, penetrate the rural vote. Kanawano, Lago Chiki Zero Chiki Zero, and Wajroa to when Miss Ajis is I mean, gonna be hearing a lot of um, stories. Chibuda, Ujumazaka Sena Sena, as we go towards my campaign in my elections that go this year, 2023. This is a weekly news roundup on Prince Melanie Entertainment TV. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Remember, guys, to turn on the notification bell. We'll be back tomorrow on Sunday with the latest more news covering up the whole of last week. And you're here on your favorite show, 
which is a weekly news roundup on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Bless up.